Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another PAL World video. Well, we have a brand new update that is here. Update 1.4.0. And it finally has some huge major fixes. Everybody going to be excited about it. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, the update is live on Steam right now. Let's start off with the major fixes. They fixed the issue where the game will crash under certain conditions, so finally, those crashes should be fixed. They also fixed the issue where if another player PAL base had HP 30% or less, it could be captured by using a PAL spear. They also fixed the issue where enemy PALs will get stuck in walls due to charge attacks, so, you know, that has been fixed as well. They also implemented a fix that for an issue where the game will always crash and save data will be corrupt when the guild total number of PALs captured will be around 7,000 now. The game no longer crashes even if the total number of captures exceeds 7,000, which is good. However, some data that has already been in this state in the case of the server, the server world data prior to this update will still be unable to load. Now, they are still continuing to work on fixing this issue permanently. Next up, we have key configuration. They added support for mouse side keys and numeric keypads and keyboards and key configuration. Further improvements are currently planned, such as support for key interact configurations. Player issues fix the issue where players on dedicated servers and co-op online are receiving damage twice. Specifications have been changed so that you can move at extremely low speeds and we have exceeded the weight limit. That's cool. Players will no longer pass through walls when dismounting, so they fix that. Fix the issue where capture power strengthened by limit effigies were reset when using memory reset drug. Fix the issue where armor could be equipped in the wrong slot. Adjust the camera position on several pals to make it easier to see when mounted. And now so, we have a base issues. Under base issues, specifications have been changed so that pals who are manually assigned to a breeding farm will not become hungry and their manual assignments will not be removed. The key to live pals have been changed from F to V and photo pad X to Y in order to prevent accidents. Reduce the speed and range of fire spreading on wooden buildings. Fix the issue where manual work assignments could not be set at all under certain circumstances. Fix the issue where extremely high level relaxer source would attack the base during raids. Added several measures to prevent base pals from getting stuck. Fix the issue where pals would get stuck while transporting items that would drop them on the spot. Fix the issue where pals at the base would continue to cut down trees that were already cut. And fix the issue that more pals at the base were on the verge of death due to unexplained fall damage. They also fixed the issue where pals at the base would float under some conditions and fixed the issue where if a farm was built on the second floor or above, work pals would be unable to move on floors below. And last but not least, on the other day, correct and incorrect text and measures have been added to prevent cheating and stealing other players' pals and many other minor fixes such as the addition of UI key guy so boom there you have it the brand new update is here oh my god so many changes and a lot of fixes for some of those glitches that we love as well but for right now that's pretty much going for the video hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you're new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here on carpool can below the white variety of videos range from updates tips and tricks guys and news and a whole lot more so once again thanks for watching as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one